Now I'm doing this as a small favor to Rich Peabody who sent me a box of Ward Van Duzer's old photographs. Some of them are very, very nostalgic. And to see how many of the people in it I knew. I knew some of them, of course, but not all. Because they're basically from all parts of the country. But I did want to share, and I noticed some of them are really nostalgic to me. Uh, and I'm sure if you were a modeler in the time these photos were taken, you'll know most of the people. Derek's real young here. You notice, <laughs> this is funny, he's wearing a windy t-shirt. So I guess I owe it to Derek, who has uh, gone on to become and probably one of the top finishers. And uh, might, might I say, one of the nicest young men I've known in the world of modeling. Now, some of the people, I don't know their name. I know of them. I know their model plane. But I thought I'd try to identify for the people that have shared the Control Line stunt event with me and with the other people. It's always fun looking at, I, I've always enjoyed looking at old photos, and again, I don't know a lot of the people. A lot of these people that Ward lived up here for part of his life, but the last part of his life he lived down south in the Atlanta area, I believe. Now, everybody in the world will recognize uh, Billy Werwidge and Dean Pappas. And the people that are in the top five fly-offs and all these nostalgia fly-offs and things. This is, a, this is one of my favorite pictures, and I looked at these before. I said, wow, boy, that really tells it all. And you look back at some of these pictures, and you, you notice some of the people are not, uh, some of the people have passed on already. So not always a good thing to, uh, to be reminded of that. But I'll jibber-jabber along as I go along showing these, because I do think the people, and I'm hoping, now see, I'll post this on my motorcycle channel, the Windy U motorcycle channel this Paul takes care of the airplane channel Paul Taylor I'm sure he'll find some way of posting this or putting it on stun hanger or somewhere with some of the older people some of the people that may be even in these pictures and show these models and some of the times gone by maybe when we were all a, a lot younger a little bit younger <laughs> some of us got all the way ahead of our time some didn't some people held on pretty long now, here's the reason I like to have these old photos. And I have a box of my own photos. Maybe I'll make an additional video to this of all of mine, old with Big Jim and people from Flushing. The late Bob Gieske, obviously one of the icons of the event. And some of the people that you could pick who your big heroes are, which planes you like the best. All subjective things. Larry Scarinzi's. Uh, it may be a copy of it. I don't know if that's the real one. I don't think it is. It's probably, in fact, I know here's, here's another picture of it. I don't know who that is. Again, I should know more of the people, but I've been at it, a control line stunt uh, community for eight years now on sabbatical with my, with my grandson, seven years actually. And, but I still really do Enjoy looking at the pictures. This one I remember. This Bob McDonald. I made several trips out to Detroit and to Billy Werwidge's home. Stayed at Billy Werwidge's home many years. We went to the team trials together. And again, if I've skipped over anybody's name, you know my slogan in the years that I shot the videos in the control line stunt world was room for everybody. And I try to know everybody, but obviously at my age, I'm lucky I know who I am. But some of these really bring back some memories that I, that I made four trips to, to Houston to see Richard Oliver and stay with his family, with Edie. And every time I did, I expanded my, uh, the group of people that I, I thought I knew or maybe I still know. Maybe they still know me. I don't know. But in the meantime, what's, what's, I've never not enjoyed looking at old photos. And I'm just trying to hit the highlights here of something that maybe, maybe something, see some of these black and white ones I don't really recognize. Here's one, anybody in the world of Control Line Stunt would know Paul Walker's really cool B-17. And uh, Ward obviously was a, a photographer. This looks like it's from the uh, Junkyard Wars at one of the Brodax. And again, if, you've, if you're looking at this video and you're a, an old Control Liner, 
an old stunt flyer or just a model or maybe you want to pass this on to your friends these I believe are some of the ones from Brodax and I do remember sev several of these they were very very cool I don't remember this fellow's name he was there every year with the B-17 Some pretty neat stuff, pretty good memories, especially of Brodax. Now, the reason Brodax stands out in my mind is it's pretty simple because it was such a social thing. The Nats being more competitive, team trials really competitive. Of course, you got a trip to uh, somewhere, but but Brodax was always the most sociable, most low key. And again, here you look at some of the people here now. At, it looks like that's Gene Martin in the picture here, but I'm not sure. I don't want to say it if it's not true. Somebody here, and I always get a kick out of this. This this is an iconic photo to me. Cardinal. This is the Griffin. And I'm just trying to remember. Uh, look how young. Look how young. We all were so young. This, this makes me crazy when I see it. And I do remember one minute at Brodax. For one minute in the in the history of my life, every circle that was flying had a cardinal flying. That, that just I know we have somewhere on video. The uh, all the videos I've posted, Paul has graciously posted up pretty much all the videos that I made over the years. And now some of these are from this is a circle burner one. This is a real old one. I'll bet if you look at it close, you'll recognize some of the people. And if you have the ability to put it on stop, that's cool. John and Buzz. Boy, this is one that with the inclement weather coming and everybody looking to get the last practice flight in. Some of the old combat jobs. Some of the nostalgia jobs. And again, I, I wish I had an ability to... Uh, now, if anybody does know some of these people, you know, and you can post up, you can freeze, you can take a click of this, a freeze frame it, and post it up somewhere on Stun Hanger or whatever. This, this is a classic, iconic photo. I bet there's a lot of people in there that uh, they will ultimately get to see this. And I've always been a big believer in taking a lot of pictures, take a lot of video and share it with everybody. That's always been what I thought was important. And some of the bikes. Again, these are Ward's pictures, and I again I apologize because I don't really know most of the people, but I know if you are one of the people in here and I, I don't know who you are, again my apologies. And now here we go with that this looks like a Les McDonald design and I do, I do still hear from Les because Les rides motorcycles. In fact, he has a Yamaha FZ9. And uh, we have communicated many times about his motorcycle rides and mine. This has the look of one of Steve Busso's ships that he had with the, uh, the colorful paint. Nice chipmunk. And it's funny, sometimes when you take a picture like this and you don't really realize what you're doing or, or how significant it's going to be 10 years down the road. Now, an example is I shot video of the late Bob Gieske. I have, I have many hours of his video of him at various ages and stages in his life. And I'd love to someday, you know, if, I, if my grandson ever gets old enough to, uh, to live without my services... <laughs> That's the nice way to put it. Anyway, some of the things I planned on doing is making some videos of my modeling memories. And uh, this is a classic one here. It, this is the reason it's worth a million dollars to take these pictures. The late Bob Gieske. I know Mike Scott would agree. Now, one I do remember, the Strathmore, and if you go way back into the 50s, 60s, you'll remember that. Probably one of the biggest legends, iconic figure, Billy Wurwich, and I thank Billy for uh, many, many uh, trips to his...
pool walker. Now some of these pictures, I wish I, I could even identify the year. See in the old days they used to put the year on the back of the picture. Some of these do, some of them don't. Now here's one look. I'm just as I'm looking at this, you see the people. This young man is probably, and of course, Alan Brookhouse, the late Alan Brookhouse. And again, the reason these are priceless memories now. And once somebody passes, they're even more priceless. Now he is actually one. This this makes me crazy. This is my plane here, and it's 91. I, I that might be me. I don't know. I don't even know if that's me. It's Billy Suarez. But he obviously took some pictures of me down along the road, too. Not that that's a big deal, but... But again, I think one of the things... I'll see what response I get to this video from, you know, the people that watch the videos. And the videos on my airplane channel that Paul, again, has done all of the hard work. Paul Taylor deserves a real round of applause for sharing it. Because without sharing it, it's of no value at all. To take this stuff to the grave is of no value at all. Now, even if some of the people do enjoy this, and I think here's the rarest, and I, I, I didn't see this the first time I looked at these. That's, that's Ward. Ward, I bet when this picture was taken, you never knew that that's how this was going to be. In the end, you were going to be uh, <laughs> on a video like this. It, no, this. This looks like, and it might not be, this has the look of it. This is the circle burner field, and that's the late George Gatiss. This is definitely the circle burner field. Now, I should know these people because I was a, almost a lifelong member, even when the club was in Patterson. But again, I don't know everybody. And the truth is I should. Because I was pretty dedicated during my tenure. Tommy Niebuhr and his son... Tommy Niebuhr, I believe, but I'm not totally sure. And along with John Misk, was always a big supporter of Old Time Stunt, along with Bob Hunt. Uh, one of the planes I do remember, and I may have this wrong because I see it has two propellers. Randy Smith, at one time, one of the Nationals that he came to, had a, a counter-rotating prop uh, version. And here's another picture of it. Ward had some pictures of it. Very cool. Had a very unique sound. I know there's some video that I shot of that plane, because I shot the video. So I know Paul probably still has it, and I don't know how he even can keep track of how many there are. I think there's a thousand altogether. And I know the motorcycle channel is coming up on having a million hits, so I don't know about the airplane channel. It might have even more. Wow, it just... It could make you cry to think of... Uh, the life we've had. Look, in the middle of everything, in the middle of everything, and I didn't plan it this way. There's a picture of Buzz. That's my B-25. One of the planes that now sits in my little museum that's in my attic. People come to see it all the time, but it's, it's basically retired. Kind of like I am. Mentally retired, too. Now, I'm not sure. See, I wish I knew. This looks like... This looks like Bill, Bill Rutherford's plane. I don't know if that the late Bill Rutherford, of course. Stayed with Bill, went to his house for parties and things many times when I was in Texas. Oh, it could make you cry. This, this stuff is it's, it's hard to, uh, to not cry. Just unbelievable. And if you look back over the life that we've all shared, we have all shared whether we like it or not, whether you've tried to stay out of it or on purpose you've dived into the pool, we have shared our passion for model airplanes, our passion for competition, and our passion for building a network of friends basically worldwide. And I still hear from, from people almost every day building models and it's wonderful. Now again, Ward, I had no idea 
Ward, that's an iconic photo. I actually ought to keep this. <laughs> I'm going to return them to Peabody. But that's my B25 and Buzz. It just... Just one of the things that you just, just never know. And it's actually, there's been many, many movies that I've, uh, that I've seen that somewhere in the course of the movie, somebody will take out a camera or a video camera and shoot some pictures. And then at the end of the movie, after the, uh, the obvious, the conclusion of it, you know, the picture of Buzz in the B-25, maybe he were, maybe, I didn't know he had these pictures all along. Wow. Very, very cool. Very good memory, even though I have the model in my attic. That's, that's a good memory. And again, memories, at this point in my life, memories are everything. And there's not a day goes by I don't think about my friends from the world of modeling. Some of them still stay in touch. Some of them have moved on. Some of them have passed on. And it was really a sad day for me when we lost John DeTavio. He was a person I worked with and modeled with and flew with and hung out with, and he had a big influence on my childhood. Another reason, I'm sure Mike Scott will look at that and say, my God, it's so good to be able to share these. Just unbelievable. So before we get to the end here, and we're coming up near the end, I want to thank Rich Peabody for coming up with this idea of sharing these photos. Encourage you if you know anybody else that's a model or to pass on the link. But it I hope again Paul can take it off of my motorcycle channel, the motorcyclists. We do have a few modelers that, that build you know that have built control line stun planes, but would like to get this out into the real world. A little tribute to Ward and the photo collection that he's graciously donated. Here's a good one, Jimmy Cassell. Well, we have some Jim, some video of Jimmy. Very competitive guy. It's, and Bill Rich. Boy, Bill, if you only knew the memories I have of the times we flew together up here. Bobby Hunt. Bob and I went to the Texas Nationals. And, did we, no, Louisiana, I don't even remember. Lincoln, we went to Lincoln together. Well, we were lying and telling stories, and my God, what good memories. Some of these are really, really unbelievably good. Now, this is the end of Ward's photos, but what I will do in the days to come, and hope I have the time to do it, and hope I have the energy, uh, the first thing, of course, again, to thank Rich for sharing them, thank Ward Van, the late Ward Van Duzer for taking and accumulating them. They are wonderful memories, and I will try to, uh, to get my photos on here. I have given a lot of mine to Win Paul over the years, I'm, and I do have a, uh, I have a shoebox full of photos to share. That will be coming soon. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the presentation. Send a little thank you to uh, to Paul Taylor for what he's done on in the YouTube channel. And a little thanks to Rich. I think this was well worth it. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.